Welcome to our series of educational videos on technical analysis. This is part one, an introduction to technical analysis and candlestick charting. I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director of Fairmont Equities. Please ensure you are familiar with our disclaimer in that any advice given is general only. If you're able to view this on high definition, please do so as you'll be able to view the charts a lot more clearer. The first part is an introduction. Later on, we'll go through charting patterns, reversals, indicators, Elliott wave, and then finally, how we combine both technical and fundamental analysis. For those not familiar with us, Fairmont Equities is a share advisory firm helping clients achieve higher returns from their share portfolios by combining both technical and fundamental analysis. You may have seen some of our commentary in the specialist media, such as the Financial Review, and I regularly provide commentary on the Sky News Business Channel and CNBC. So what is technical analysis? I view it as a method of analyzing supply and demand in the market based on previous price action. And it's a way of showing how emotions are driving stock prices higher or lower. And we can see this visually. Once we understand this, we can identify when stock prices are running ahead of themselves or if they are being oversold. That is, by understanding price action on a chart, we can tell when the market is unable to push a stock any higher and is therefore likely to drop. This can help identify when we should be taking profits. Conversely, it can show us where there's a buying opportunity in a stock because we can see the buying pressure and we may be able to buy the company now in the knowledge that it will probably go up in price. So let's look at the different types of charts which investors use. The majority of charts out there are simple line charts. It can tell us if a stock is going up or down and not much else. To get a line chart, we simply take the closing price each day of a stock and plot it over time. This is a chart of Qantas over a year. It was generally heading higher until it suffered a dramatic fall. Investors would want to buy on a dip, but how can we tell looking at this chart when the shares are about to head up again. We can't. So let's make some improvements. What we need to do is convert our chart to a candlestick chart. So for each day, instead of taking the closing price and joining the dots, we convert each day into a candle. This is how it works. Looking at the candle on the left hand side, this represents a stock that closed at a higher price than where it opened. So we can see where the stock opened at and then where the stock closed at. All of this forms the body of the candle. The body can be very small, that is, the stock only traded slightly higher throughout the day, or it can be very large, which means that it saw sustained buying pressure all day. Now these shadows, top and bottom here, they tell us where it traded throughout the day. So sometimes you don't get any shadows, Sometimes they're very small and sometimes they can be large. The dark candle here on the right hand side, it just means that the stock closed at a lower level than where it opened. So remember our line chart and the fact that each day was represented by a simple dot, the closing price. Now, imagine a chart that contains these candles of all different sizes, white or black, small bodies or large bodies, large shadows, upper or lower, or perhaps no shadows at all, all of a sudden the information you have on your stock is increased tenfold. At once you have a mountain of price action easily accessible at a glance. Now this is how it looks in practice. This is the same chart of Qantas but with the candlesticks representing an individual day. So notice all the different candles. Here's an interesting one down here. So let's zoom in. We've got a very large white candle right here. So this means that the stock started the day down here, but by the end of it, it was all the way up here. It hardly has a shadow top or bottom. This is telling us that Qantas 
opened the day near $3, and it just went higher before closing well above that. So it's an intraday move of nearly 5%. And we can see this candle in other spots as well. So we've seen it here, here, here. Alongside this one is a very interesting candle. It has a very long shadow. So if we zoom in, we can see that the stock opened and closed pretty much at the same point, but it did have a very wide range throughout the day. So a lot of indecision. But then the next day it gapped up here and just never looked back. All this sustained buying pressure. And a few months later, the stock was was up over 10%. This tends to form a reversal. Uh, it's a sign of a reversal. Um, we'll cover that in, in a later slide, um, in one of the other parts, but um, already you can start to appreciate how much interesting information is, is hidden from view on a simple line chart, but it almost bursts out when you convert it to candlesticks. The beauty of these charts is that you can have candlesticks for any time period. A candlestick can represent a minute or it can represent a whole month. Now this is a weekly chart for Qantas. I find these particularly useful alongside the daily chart. So you'll notice that it's a little less noisy. Now here we could see some good evidence of, of price rejection. That is, we've got a few shadows telling us that Qantas just can't close above this level. It's suffering from selling pressure every time. So that was confirmed with a sell-off. And then a couple of months later, uh, we could see the market was finally ready to get going again. So this, this is valuable information. Certain types of candles next to each other also provide us with uh, interesting reversal signals, um, such as the ones down here, similar to the one that we looked at on the daily chart. But at this point, the stock went from $1.50 and eventually it was trading well over four dollars but we'll, as i said we'll cover these in more detail in, in one of the other parts having a look at these candles also makes resistance and support levels much clearer this is a chart of bhp where every candle represents a month of trading by eliminating a lot of the noise we could see the behavior of bhp a bit clearer the first interesting point is up here where BHP got very close to its all-time high. And then we can see there's been clearly price rejection from those higher levels, uh, and then a series of dark candles. So it's clearly showing weakness coming into, into BHP and all the, all the selling pressure. And since then, as we know, BHP, at the time of, uh, the time of this video, uh, BHP then went on to lose half its value. The other interesting thing that you can get from a candlestick chart are the clear levels of resistance. So here it becomes very obvious that over the course of a couple of years, BHP just cannot push through that $35 region. So again, very valuable information because as we know, BHP just went south after that. This is a weekly chart of Magellan Financial and it clearly shows a nice uptrend being respected by the stock. Now here we can see uh, numerous candles that demonstrates the strong support for the stock. So if we zoom in, you will notice that on this uptrend line, we've seen, we're seeing all these shadows here clearly rejecting all along this uptrend line before gapping up with a strong candle. And then the stock rallied almost 50% from that point. What a fantastic trade. Okay, that's the end of part one. In part two, we'll start to look at different charting patterns. These will help you identify whether stocks are worth buying or selling based on their price action. If you're not viewing this video on the Fairmont Equities website, be sure to pay us a visit where you can subscribe to our research and see our real stock picks in action. We've also got a free blog page that does get updated regularly with my articles and videos.